Hello, this is Wempire. Going to try something a little bit different today. First, I'm going to show you guys the Gracie Get Up. This comes from Gracie Jiu Jitsu, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and it starts off in this position like this, all right? So basically, it's one hand to the back, the other hand right here, okay, on top of the knee. So this knee is right here, so it can shield my body from that side over here. So this is a shield and my arm also shields right here. So this becomes a protective position. You know, some people call this the fetal position right here. So from here, you know, I can roll back. So if someone's trying to kick my face and there's a lot of force coming in, I can just roll back and be in the fetal position. Protect the groin, okay? So I have something here and you wanna protect the lungs right here, okay? And I can still kick back and come to this position right here and basically I want to get up I want to get out of here but in order to do that I need a shield so this is my shield to to help me get up when the timing is right that's the key to get up at the right time if I get up at the wrong time I can get hurt really really badly okay so this hand actually helps me scoot and because of that this is actually called the butt scoot position so if they try to run around me to try to kick my head okay I can kind of follow them and present the legs and they have to clear the legs past the legs in order to get to my head in order to get to my torso okay now this is not a perfect position because this is a really bad position but at least it gives you a strategy to work from okay so from this position once again this is a shield this is a shield I can kick like this and actually if I put both my hands down and do this kick right here this is called the pedalada right the pedalada kick right here is a KO kick in old school Valetudo no holds barred competition. So anyway, this is a very, very powerful kick. It's basically you're becoming a tripod. So both hands here and boom, like this. Now, if you feel like that is going to compromise your safety, you can keep your shield, you know, keep your arm to protect and just kick like that. Okay, so the exercise that I want you guys to do is to go from this position right here okay like this this position like this and just switch to the other side like so so you just want to be able to practice switching because the attacks can come from both sides all right so you just switch and switch switch and from here see this arm helps me scoot and move around like this okay one thing that is important to remember is this foot right here okay does not go underneath here some people it's natural for them to do this and we don't want to do that and another thing is you definitely don't want to be sitting on it if you sit on it you kind of trap your own foot and once again we don't want it over here because it can get trapped if they grab the foot now your your leg kind of gets tangled there so you want just keep it right here okay so you move around like this and now in order to get up right we're gonna put weight on this hand and put weight on this on this leg right here so you see that makes my body very light right there so I could just get up like this the important part is I could get up while shielding so I'm shielding and I'm moving away from the attack so if a kick is coming this way I'm moving away from it into a fighting position the problem is most people when they get up they try to do something like this and when they do this when they get on all fours like this my face is going towards the attack, going towards the kick, most likely a soccer kick with a steel toe boot or who knows. So boom, I'm going into the kick and also I'm presenting not only the head, the ribs and also my back to get stomped. So instead, I'm moving away and I can still keep my guard right here. Okay, so what I just showed you comes from Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. This time we're going to go into Russian martial arts, all right? So uh, we're going to combine them together so from this position right here the Gracie get up you know we have that option to get get back up when the timing is right okay so now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna put this leg down right here and once you do that this position is called the shin box position so let me show it to you guys right here so this is what it is okay it's almost like a a hurdler stretch okay so that's the shin box position and the benefit of the shin box position is once I'm here, okay, that I can get up like this without using my hands. I can get up right here and then this leg 
comes up here and then I could just stand up. Okay, so once again, from the Gracie get up position, from this position right here, I'm just going to put the shin down like this and then I can get up like so. So the main benefit is if you have something like this, this is the TDZ7, all right? So I have this ready right here, okay? So I have this ready right here and I am able to get up and go into attack without putting my hands onto the ground. That is a big deal. Okay, so once again, I'm in this position right here and I put my shin down, so I'm in the shin box position. And from here, I can aim all the way up to here. And once I get to here, I'm just going to bring my legs to this position right here. Okay, so I could still be uh, in, in attacking attack mode like so. And then now I'm just gonna do the shin box to the other side, all right? So once I do the shin box to the other side, I can cover, I can sweep all the way to over here, all right? And now, in order to get up, right, I can just come up like this and bring this foot up. And once again, I am able to cover um, on the ground 180 degrees, okay? So from here, like this, okay, I'm just gonna put the knee down and my hands are here, both hands are here, okay? So I can sweep up to here and then come to this position and continue on in the center, shin box this way, Look, my hands continuously stay here, and then I can get up to if needed, or I could come back here and go into shin box this way. So I can cover 180 degrees, no problem. If I actually stand up, then I can go 360 degrees, no problem. Right, right, right. Get him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Get out of Where's my... Oh. Yeah. Okay, so from right, let's start over. From, from butt scoot right here, you should be able to... Okay, right now, no gun yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, this... Okay, so from butt scoot right here, you should be able to move. Right. And then switch. To the other side. Yes. Good. And shield. And shield. And then tripod kick, right? The pedal kick, right? Let's go back. Two butt scoot, okay, shin box. Once you get the shin box, this is where the, the, the handgun comes in, right? So, yeah, let's go from butt scoot. Okay, so you, yeah, you take it out, right? Now you can get a shin box, right? Let's come up, and then, yes, okay. All right, so that's one way to come up, but now let's sweep the floor, right? Okay. Technically, okay. So from here, shin box shin position, box. right? We're gonna go here. Yeah, same position. Shin box on the other side. Okay. If, yeah, yeah, shin box on the other side. And then from here, you should be able to come up. Here. Exactly. You come up all the way and you cover 360 degrees. Okay, so once again, once again. Okay, so from butt scoot, you, you took out your gun. Yeah, right. Let's go to shin box. Shin box position. Okay, so from this point on, yeah, the hands stay here. Okay, so you just cover here. And then look, this, this is what helps me. Really. I put my foot here, I push off. I push off, yeah. I push off that way, I think that and it's smoother. Yeah, I push off that way. That's a little hand down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So push off from there, and then now you should be able to come up. Come up, and then, yeah, go all the way down. Right. 